Good afternoon. We just want to do a quick video of the Tino Costa Artist Estate Auction. And it's all downstairs. We'll start here with Roy, who is just a spectacular portrait of a dog. We've had a lot of dog paintings over the years, but this one definitely has the most appealing look of any we've ever had. And then this is a painting of his son on a hobby horse with probably a Red Ryder BB gun in his hand, so pretty sweet image there. Oil on canvas, old frame. Probably, I mean, the frame he put it in, I'm sure. The ballerina here, let me move this rack out of the way. It's one of the only paintings in the auction that is not of a family member. Obviously, he was a commissioned portrait artist, so anything that he was commissioned to do, the, the family who commissioned it kept it, right? So these are all pieces that came through the family. So there's a lot of paintings of his son and his wife. Um... We also have a, lot, a few pieces by artists that he was friends with or traded with or something along those lines. Really Chestnut, a female, you know, Western artist, kind of interesting little deal there. A lot of studies, charcoals, some on tracing paper, some on artist paper. Um, and these are some singles and groups. We'll just look through the catalog. There's a couple of Hula Girl paintings that are kind of fun. But uh, again, this is another one of my favorites here. This is of his son, uh, 11 months old, uh, which I just think is so sweet. I love that he didn't like fix the hair. He just painted his boy as he was. I just love that. This little quick stitch of it as well. But then the, the you know the one with the Taylor Swift lips is uh, his wife, Lucinda, I believe, uh, and he painted her several different times in different poses. Self portrait of himself right there. There's two big scrap albums, one that he, one that Lucinda put together and one that Tino put together. And uh, you can see when you go through this, there's, uh, you know, most of his clients that he worked with over the years are, rec are talked about in here or, or mentioned. Uh, a lot of newspaper articles about him. A lot of interesting things. His sketchbook, there's something on every page, whether it's, a, you know, just doodles or there's some notes here and there, but there's stuff all the way throughout that book. A lot of people like this with the little the headdress, the head shawl to honor. Nice old frame, another uh, self-portrait. Pretty certain that this was his father. Thidman. Theolinen. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's his father based on some of the correspondence in the, the scrap albums. This is one of the pieces by somebody he knew. Drawn up. Blink on the name, but uh, an artist. Somebody came in the other day and started to try and straighten this, like, like, oh no, that's how it's supposed to be painted. And yes, that's absolutely how it's supposed to be painted. That was his wife swimming, and he just did a quick painting of that. He spent time in Texas. That's the Texas capital, I believe, in Austin. All kinds of interesting pieces, he you know, drawings and studies, and all kinds of just interesting drawings. Love this painting of his wife on the beach. You know, a really, you know, again, a quick, like, plein air, like, actually on the beach. He just painted it real quick. Didn't spend the studio time on it. He just captured what he saw. Um, really, people like that a lot. We do as well. Julian Moser. Interesting little Haitian-type looking painting. Uh, fixing, a, looks like a flat tire on the bus. Really like the easel with a little painting on it. Kind of fun. I <laughs> love this where there's like the study of his son on the table that he is still life on. Um, again, you know, things from his house and home. There's his wife again. You know, obviously he cared for her deeply. And was she was his muse? Obviously he painted her quite a bit, drew her and studied her, and and of course his son again at looks a little bit younger, like between the 11 month old and then between that and the painting of him on the hobby horse. This is actually painted on plywood. So that graining is the wood. It's not painted on there. It's actually on the board. And then there's more, like there's a big, that obviously was a photograph and all kinds of odds and ends. So not a huge auction. I want to say there's like 70 or 80 lots, but just some really sweet, sweet paintings. Again, Roy is my favorite dog portrait we've sold in a long time. Really liked his son on the hobby horse with the BB gun. 
and the ballerina are probably the three key paintings from the group. But his wife, the portraits of his wife, very important and, and, and strong as well. So if you have any questions, let us know. If you have an artist's estate that you're working with, you can help deciding what to do with that. Please reach out to us. Or if you have other things to sell, jewelry, silver, coins, antiques. We're always, our clients, our customers are always looking for those kinds of things. So have a great weekend. Follow the auction. It ends on Monday night. And if you have any questions, please let us know. Otherwise, we will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.